Good morning. I saw on my Twitter this morning that a UK fire service is now testing the gigantic bath of water that they're going to have to dunk the EVs in when they catch fire. And I was going to make a video about that and I thought, no, that's cheap and lazy content. So instead, let's look at this press release that I found from an electric vehicle sales company in America and how they're attracting new companies on April 1st. This post was meant to go out on April 1st, but I saw that this morning and I thought, well, the whole world is basically one long April Fool's joke now, isn't it? So it doesn't matter if this doesn't go out on April Fool's Day. Jefferson Electric Vehicle Sales April 1st promo. An electric vehicle dealership based in Jefferson has launched a controversial new sales promotion to combat the controversy of rare metals mining and electric cars. Launching on April the 1st, every new electric vehicle now comes with a free child from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Our customers are loving this new initiative, said Mr Jefferson of Jefferson EV Sales. People buy an electric car to save the planet, as these cars produce zero emissions at the tailpipe. But all these reports about children digging up rare metals for the batteries have been causing EV evangelists a real headache. You really can't unsee the image of six-year-olds mining cobalt. It was hurting our sales. This way, we can kill two birds with one stone without actually killing any birds. I mean, apart from the ones that are killed by the wind farms, of course, but maybe we can look at that next year. The scheme applies to all makes and models from Jefferson EV sales and is available to customers whether they're buying on finance or paying up front. It doesn't actually matter how much the ticket price of the car is as everyone just pays monthly. We noticed this trend about 10 years ago when people started moving away from owning cars outright and PCP schemes began to be more popular. The cars haven't gotten any better, but the manufacturers have jacked the prices right up. We rarely tell customers how much the car is. They only want to know the monthly amount anyway. They buy a brand new car because they want reliability, but the funny thing is, these cars are less reliable than ever. We do very well on the servicing and maintenance costs, although the warranty work can be a bit of a pain. They don't make them like they used to, but we've maximised the business model like mobile phones did. People don't want longevity, they want an instant hit for Instagram, knowing they can give it back in three years' time without any consequences. It's great. Karen and Keith Sharonson, also from Jefferson, were one of the first couples to purchase a car using the new scheme. I think it's brilliant. I've got my EV, I've got that little green badge on the number plate so everyone can see that I care about the planet, and now I've got Andre, he's seven. He did such a great job finding all the metal for the batteries in the car, and he seems really pleased to be here. Mr Jefferson also added, we think it's a great idea. It's another way to deal with the problem from a PR point of view, without ever actually having to deal with the problem. The kids over there are lucky to make a dollar a day. We pay half the customer's initial deposit to a middleman, and the kids arrive here in batches. It's brilliant. And with that, he went back inside the dealership to help his staff deal with the queue. <laughs> The problem is with a piece like that is if I'm going to write a new one for April the 1st this year, it's getting more and more difficult to come up with outlandish things that are great April Fool's jokes that aren't actually real. Because if you look at the headlines from the last few years, pretty much every single one of them could have been an April Fool's joke. You know, whole country going into lockdown. <laughs> Good one. April Fool's. Oh, no, that happened. Boris Johnson becomes prime minister. I mean, that was an April Fool's joke in itself, which is confounded by the fact that he's now considering doing it again. Boris Johnson running for prime minister once again. That is an April Fool's joke. Anyway, that'll do it for today. A little bit of lazy content because my brain is absolutely fried from the glue that I used to put this new headlining on. Seriously, I, I feel like I've got chemical poisoning. So back to some better content on Monday.